Nine Things You Might Not Know About Bridgerton Star Nicola Coughlin Coughlin, who plays Penelope Featherington on the hit Netflix romance drama, had a winding path to TV stardom. The highly anticipated second batch of episodes for Bridgerton's third season is here, and series regular Nicola Coughlin has fully captured the spotlight in the popular Netflix period romance. Now streaming in full, Bridgerton season 3 focuses on Penelope Featherington, played by Coughlin, and her efforts to secure a husband in Regent Sierra London. Part 2 should reveal whether her friendship-turned romance with Colin Bridgerton, Luke Newton, can endure society scrutiny and secrets. While 37-year-old Coughlin has found a home on Bridgerton as Featherington and her scandal sheet alias Lady Whistledown, the Irish actor faced a less-than-regal path to television stardom. Here are a few things you might not know about her life and late-blooming career on screen. Coughlin wanted to act from an early age. Born on January 9, 1987, Coughlin grew up in Oramore, Ireland. It didn't take long for her to gravitate toward the arts. Coughlin caught the acting bug at age five when she saw her sister, Cloda, perform in a school play. I was always roping my friends into making my own movies and plays, she told The Guardian. She earned her first true role at age nine, playing a little girl feeding swans in the 1997 action movie My Brother's War. Coughlin continued her education and added minor voice roles to her resume over the next few years, but making the full leap into acting wasn't easy. She worked in retail before her career took off. After studying English and classics at the National University of Ireland, Galway, Coughlin enrolled in separate courses at the Oxford School of Drama and the Birmingham School of Acting. Both institutions turned her down for their multi-year programs. Unable to find acting work or attract an agent as an adult, Coughlin worked in retail jobs selling beauty products and frozen yogurt, according to the New York Times. Her bank account dipped below $100 on multiple occasions. Still, an undaunted Coughlin didn't give up. Deep, deep down, she believed in herself, said playwright Camilla Whitehill, one of her best friends. She did have some awful, like, truly, truly awful, part-time jobs that were depressing as hell. But I never really doubted her. She was unsure of her breakout show Dairy Girls. Nicola Coughlin, second from left, stands with the cast of Dairy Girls. At age 30, Coughlin starred in the 2016 play Jess and Joe Forever in London and finally secured an agent. It was this new connection that allowed her to audition for what became her breakout role as Claire Devlin, the TV series Dairy Girls. Only, she had no inkling of its ensuing success. The day before the premiere, in 2018, I went to get my hair done and I asked my hairdresser if she'd post on her Instagram that my show was coming out, so that some of her clients might watch it, she told Bustle in April 2022. None of us were well-known actors. There was no specific reason for me to think people would tune in, you know? But they did, Dairy Girls became one of British Channel 4's biggest comedies and reached even bigger heights on Netflix, beginning in 2019. The streamer reported in 2023 that the show's three seasons drew more than 17 million total viewing hours. She also auditioned for Stranger Things. While Coughlin is no stranger to Netflix viewers thanks to Dairy Girls and the Shonda Rhimes, produced Bridgerton, she almost wound up on the streamer's science fiction hit Stranger Things. Coughlin told BuzzFeed in April 2022 she auditioned for the season three part of Robin Buckley, now played by Maya Hawke. Coughlin admitted Hawk was far better than I ever would have been, and took the rejection in stride. It's a good lesson to actors, watch the stuff you didn't get, because you'll totally understand how it's not personal, she said. You're just right for some things, and you're not right for other things. She edits Bridgerton for her family. It's no secret a large part of Bridgerton's appeal has been its steamy romance scenes. This initially came as a bit of a shock to Coughlin's mother who, according to the actor, didn't know it was going to be so saucy. Coughlin described the third season as a similarly spicy one, featuring Penelope's relationship with Colin. Because of this, Coughlin told Sirius XM Hits 1 she added a clause in her contract requiring Netflix to send her family an edited version of this season. People think I'm like saying it as a joke, she said. I grew up Irish Catholic. 
that's just not how we vibe. Coughlin had a brief role in Barbie. Raking in more than $1.4 billion worldwide at the box office, Barbie was the biggest blockbuster of 2023. But even if you saw the Greta Gerwig, directed feature, you might have missed Coughlin's brief appearance. The actor played Diplomat Barbie, one of the many variations of the doll that appeared in the movie. Due to scheduling conflicts, her role was limited to one small scene. Coughlin still gushed about her short time on set, including her costume, which was inspired by a Barbie she had as a child. It's been the most fun thing today, maybe the most fun I've ever had in the single day of a job, she said.